Hi there, I'm Shelby with Athens Library Summer with the Library Virtual Programming, and today I'm here to teach you how to make your very own slime. So I'm going to be making a glittery type of slime today, but there are so many variations that you'll probably never get bored figuring out how to make unique and interesting slimes. But today, all of the ingredients we're going to need are right here with us. I have 8 ounces of glitter glue. You're going to need 2 tablespoons of a saline solution, like a contact lens solution. As long as on the ingredients it says that it contains boric acid, it should work just fine for this. And you're going to need 1 teaspoon of baking soda. Make sure that that's baking soda and not baking powder because the two ingredients, while they sound similar, will do totally different things and your slime may not form with the baking powder. I'd also like to recommend that anything that you have today you keep away from your mouth out of your eyes just for safety reasons. And for ease of cleanup, I am going to wear some gloves. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your glue and you're just going to dump all of it into your mixing bowl. Let's get it all in there. Alright, once you've gotten as much of that as you can, you're going to open up your baking soda. And you're going to get your teaspoon measure, that's the smaller one that you'll have with you. And you're going to sprinkle it in there. and then mix it together a bit. All right, next up, if you'd like to, you can add a little bit more glitter to the solution or add your glitter now if you're using regular glue. Make it really, really glittery. And then once you've got that mixed together, you're going to get your saline solution or your contact lens solution. And you're going to measure out two tablespoons. Make sure to add it really slowly. And stir the whole time. Now you're going to want to watch this part because the saline solution is what turns your mixture into slime and you'll see that it's slowly going to start working. It might vary just a little bit based on um, how much glue you got in there, exactly how much it takes to make it the right consistency, but you're basically going to want to add it until you're able to mix your slime using your hands, aka the fun part. Alright, 
As you can see here, my glue mixtures started to slowly get a bit more viscous. I'm going to add just a little bit more of this solution here. And as you can see, over time, it'll get easier and easier for you to pick up until So it's still very, very sticky at this point. So you're going to want to knead it as much as you can and really work the solution in there. You'll be surprised at how much it takes to get it to go from sticky glue to slime. But once you're all done, it should have this sort of consistency where it'll stick together and fall apart as you play with it. Just like the slime on Nickelodeon. <laughs> there we go. That's how you make your very own batch of glittery slime. <laughs> thank you for joining me for this program today and thank you for joining us for Summer with the Library. Wherever you may be or whatever you may be doing, I hope that we get to see each other again soon. Thank you. <laughs>